Now to the U.S. confrontation with ISIS, the Islamic terror group that's trying to establish an Islamic state in Syria and Iraq. President Obama signed a bill Friday authorizing the U.S. military to arm and train Syrian rebels to fight ISIS. But Mr. Obama also repeated his pledge not to send American ground troops into combat. Juliana Goldman joins us again from Washington with more. Juliana, good morning again. Good morning. And President Obama is continuing to repeat that pledge. He's saying that the U.S. will degrade and ultimately destroy ISIS. But a growing chorus of his own military advisors are questioning whether they'll have the tools to do that. I won't commit our troops to fighting another ground war in Iraq or in Syria. It's more effective to use our capabilities to help partners on the ground secure their own country's futures. Capping a week in which his military advisors raised doubts about the U.S. strategy to defeat ISIS, President Obama used his weekly address to make his position clear. The White House insists U.S. forces are being deployed to hit ISIS targets from the air and to train and advise Iraqi, Kurdish and moderate Syrian fighters on the ground. The president has ruled out the option uh, of deploying American boots on the ground in Iraq and in Syria in a combat role. Uh, the president, law, the commander forever. in chief, has ruled that out. But military leaders, including retired Marine General James Mattis, told Congress that, that pledge ties their hands in battle. I would say that uh, you just don't take anything off the table up front, uh, which apparently the administration has tried to do. The war of words comes after General Martin Dempsey, chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, told lawmakers he's leaving himself the flexibility to recommend the president change his strategy if the current mission needs to be expanded. If we reach the point where I believe our advisors should accompany Iraq troops on attacks against specific ISIL targets, I'll recommend that to the president. The president's aides say he would consider that on a case-by-case -case basis, but military experts, including CBS News national security analyst Juan Zarati, say the White House is trying to narrowly define what boots on the ground really means. I think what you're seeing is a contortion of the English language to try to fit a political narrative and to ensure we don't uh, engage in a full-scale ground invasion in Iraq again. Army Chief of Staff General Ray Odierno also said Friday that additional ground troops could be needed in Iraq. Now, this tension isn't new. It goes back to 2009 when the president and his military disagreed over troop levels in Afghanistan. Benita President Obama will be in New York next week where he'll speak to the United Nations General Assembly and he'll continue to make the case for the international community to step up its efforts to defeat ISIS. Juliana Goldman in Washington this morning. Thank you.